Good morning, everybody. This is Greg with Mineral Springs Tilapia. Um, I wanted to talk to you this morning a little bit about pH. Uh, pH, when breeding these fish, is an important factor which I myself have ignored and caused myself problems, fry loss, uh, lack of breeding, things like that. Um, over the past few months I've been working on it and I've done so much better. Um, this is what I use to bring my pH up. Typically, any water that you get, any water that you put in your system will, be, will have a pH less than 8. These fish need a pH of 8.0 to actively breed. Now, not to say that they absolutely won't breed if it's, if it's not 8, but they will breed in spotty patterns. Um, you know, it, they just don't breed regularly and, and, and often. Um, in this system right now, I've got one that one back there has got a mouthful, that's two. These are young breeders, they don't have any babies in their mouth yet. There's three, there's four. Um, over on this side again, this is a young colony that's, that's not breeding yet. Well, there's nothing in this tank. There is one back there in the back that's holding, and two right here. And then there's another one in here, and it's that one right there. Um, you know, I think I've got seven females holding today. I've harvested three over the last couple of days. Uh, one of them I harvested a day too early, and there they are coming out of the tumbler. You can see them stacked up below the tumbler. You know, 500 in this tank. There's quite a few fish in here, as you can see. And this one, these were harvested uh, yesterday, I think. Uh, another 500 in this tank, and they're all over the place in there. I don't actually count these fry after I harvest them. I get them in the tank, get them growing, get them eating. And then as I move them from tank to tank, when I move them down here to these bigger 55s, I'll count them before I put them in here. Um, but the pH in every tank in here at this point is 8. I just had to adjust it this morning. I cleaned tank Sunday. This is Tuesday. I cleaned tank Sunday and I had to, uh, after I cleaned the tanks, I made sure that the pH was 8. I've had to adjust it a little bit this morning. It was down just a little bit above 7 in a couple of my tanks and that usually holds true for every tank in the place. And I had to, so I had to put a little bit of that pH up in there in order to get it back up to 8. That 8.0 is the trigger. These fish will breed well at 8.0. They won't breed well at 7.0. They'll still breed, but, you know, seldom and, and not, not regularly. And I need to get more and more fish. Now, today, I've got, you know, I've been having trouble with having enough fish over the last... I don't know, month, month and a half, maybe longer than that. And now I've got 4,000 fish in here. Granted, a lot of them are fry. And I need 30 days to get them up to a sellable size. Somewhere between 30 and 40 days. But I do have more fish now than I've had just about all summer, really. Uh, but I just wanted you to make sure, and, and this pH up, one other point, you don't need a lot of this to bring the pH up. Even in a 55, just probably less than an ounce. I do it by, at this point, I do it by sight. I pour a little bit into the filter flow. They can withstand a, a pH jump, all the fish fry the, the, and the uh, breeders and any other size fish that I have. But, um, you know, be careful. If you want your fish to breed regularly, keep the pH at 8. Um, you can't, it'll never hold there by itself. It regularly drops. So, just do the best you can. Keep it 8 or close to 8, and you'll have much more success rate in your breeding fish. 
I harvested two out of this tank and there's still two in there holding. Um, the other one just started eating again yesterday. I think both of these broods came out of that tank. That's a good breeding tank and they're doing real well. But you know, I just wanted to tell you how important your pH is. Don't ignore it. If it gets down to five, your fish probably won't breed. And if they do, and you put the fry in a tank at a five pH, the fry are gonna slowly, they'll, they'll not eat, and they'll slowly die uh, in the tank. So, you know, you, you don't want that to happen. Just, just keep your pH at eight, and you'll do fine. And I, I appreciate you guys watching. My website, if you want to look at my website, is uh, mineralspringstilapia.com. And uh, I want to thank you guys for, for watching the videos. Subscribe if you want to. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. i got to get these rest of these fry out of this tumbler rather than them rolling around in there all day. So that's what I'm fixing to do next. You guys have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.